I feel like this guy is actually staring down into my soul. And I don't like it. So we're gonna go to Waterfall Panic so he stops. Oh, nice looking Super Mario Brothers 3 level. You can thank Nintendo for this. Maybe it had game and. Yeah, Super Mario Brothers 3 is a timeless classic. Can't deny it. I mean, even though Nintendo's been draconian in recent years, you can't deny they've put out some really good stuff. SMB 3, of course, Super Mario World. Alright, conveyor belts and the porky popper. Okay. At least I have, like, two capes. I'm just gonna make this really easy. And now, like, another cape that I don't even need. Alright, there's an invisible ceiling about one block upwards from where I use, from where the top of the screen is, strangely enough. I'm gonna just use my cape. Why not? Oh, it's boss pass. That's even worse. That thing just kills you instantly, doesn't it? Wait, what? Alright, what are you telling me? That I, do I need to actually have the switches to continue on? Or can I just fly up there? I can get like a running boost off of five blocks. Or just miss the jump and then get eaten instantly. Wait, do I actually need to have switches to complete this level? That's what it looks like! Maybe at least the blue one or... Okay, let's just try and find some more switches. I'm back! And I'm gonna go look for some more secret exits! To hopefully find some switches. And just to increase that exit count. I don't know if Ectoplasm Mansion back in World 3... Like the ghost house in, on this map. I don't know if this has a secret exit or not. So I'll just look around World 4 and get its secret exits. See what I find. Now we're gonna go to the pool of fun. Again. So yeah, this was the toy land that I was really hyped to see because we don't see enough of these in Super Mario ROM hacks at all. And boss bass is here too. Yeah, I just died to him earlier. Crap. And now he's here too. But if I'm not mistaken, the secret exit isn't probably too far a ways away. Well, there's the key. That's part of it. I mean, I s remembered seeing the key earlier, so there's that. Now I gotta find the keyhole. I don't know if I have to go looking for it, or it's just gonna be out in the open as I play the level. Maybe it was in a pipe, if I'm not mistaken. I'll check the pipes. Maybe there'll be a keyhole in one of those. We'll just stay out of the water, because I know it's good for me. Oh, there's the keyhole. Wait, what? Do you want to reach the secret exit, don't you? But first you need to defeat a boss. Oh! Boom, boom. Wasn't expecting the boss. At least if you don't jump too high, you shouldn't have problems with beating them. I mean, those fire bars are in your way. Wasn't expecting the boss at all. Oh, I get the red switch. One of the ones I don't exactly need right now, but I'm gonna take it for sure. <laughs> We're gonna go to Toyland and try and find the red switch in Toyland. This is where it's placed, apparently. Oh! Lego blocks that have timers on them! <laughs> Never seen that before. I mean, I've seen the time lifts, but never Lego time lifts. Something every day, I guess. So let's just play around with these. Get it? Because they're toys. We play with toys. I do. So what else 
can I say here? It's just your platform level with also a yellow rex. So if I jump on him... Okay, he moves really fast. Like, really fast when he's squished. Or do I need that one second left, or am I going to be fine without it? I guess not. <coughs> I guess I'm fine. Just run through this hallway a bit, and now we're going to be inside the Red Switch Palace. I mean, even I did that in my Switch Palace levels in Infinity Edge, where you'd actually have to play some level that was outside the Switch Palace, based on what world you were in. And then, like, the second half, you actually reach the inside of the Switch Palace. For example, the Yellow Switch was in the Ice World, so... The first half of that, you'd be running around in the icy-themed area, just like... I think I even did that with Way of the M as well. First half is just outside the Switch Palace, which is just gonna be, like, regular level. Based on what world theme you're in, and then you get inside the Switch Palace for the second half. Like, pretty much what's happening here. So we have the toy themed area just outside, and now we're inside the switch area. And speaking of red, there's red lava and fire in our toy land. The hottest new selling toy, the Lava Factory. So if I want some extra lives, I can go get them before I hit that switch. Which I'll just take, why not? Even though I don't really need these. Three lives. Even though I don't need those. No, even more than that. Another three, so that's six. I'll take the six lives. It's a good idea. Let's see how many exits I have, for curiosity's sake. 67! Wow. I mean, just in this sitting, well, maybe just stand up to get a few drinks. I've gotten 17 exits. <laughs> Alright, let's keep up the streak. Crazy Dimensions, which had a secret exit. Yeah, the one where you're gonna fall in the, down the bottom of the screen and come out the top. <laughs> I remember this one. I mean, this is a really fun gimmick, especially if you go crazy with it. But if don't go too crazy, I think the player should have a chance of surviving the level still. I mean, this does look like the wacky kind of place to actually put the gimmick anyway. But I kind of feel like it actually fits. Alright, there's a door. I think this leads to something. Wait, I think I've been here before, personally. I think I've actually taken this door already. Yeah, this actually looks familiar. So I think I'm not supposed to go in that door. Just skip by this door and continue on to the right. Yep. Okay, I don't recall going through a vertical segment here, so yeah. I'm supposed to go this way because I haven't done so already. I mean, the whole point is to get the exit I haven't gotten. Otherwise, I'd just be like repeating myself. it'll go through the right side of the street to come out the left and vice versa. I can handle this.
wall. Door! What's in here? Ending. No problem, really. Which leads to Donut Panic. Okay, I haven't been here. We gotta complete this level and maybe another one too. Let's do it. <coughs> Man, those are some happy looking Goombas here. Man, what is that replacement for the fire chomp? Looks like one of those Japanese cats or something. Another auto scroll level. If you stand for much time in these donut blocks, it will fall. I get it. Okay, I thought the donut blocks themselves made a sound when they actually fell. Wait, that Japanese cat, that, I think that's the cat from Saibon Action. Okay, I knew it looked familiar, I just couldn't place the name. I think that is the cat from Saibon Action. That sort of Mario clone where absolutely everything could kill you, no matter how unfair it seemed. Like for example, as you're about to make the final jump to the flagpole, the flagpole shoots a laser at you that kills you. Or like the cloud itself attacks you to kill you. Or when you hit a block, the ground beneath you falls. Yeah. Side one action is just bullshit. But if I'm not mistaken, it's actually a subculture. I think it's called Rage Games. People actually enjoy, well, I think it's more people actually enjoy watching other people play these Rage Games and getting reactions out of them. I don't exactly think it's so fun for the people who are actually, quote unquote, trying to play the games that seem to be out to kill them, like, every s single moment, <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, some of you actually enjoy watching me rage, so, hence the term rage game. Speaking of which, I played through a Super Mario with Hack that was a, basically like a some sort of clone of Cybon action a long time ago. I mean, it may be fun, but still, either way, from a technical standpoint, all these unfair traps are not good level design at all. Which is why I don't think they're good games at all. I'm sure they may be fun to watch, but I don't consider them to be good games. I'm just seeing them as incredibly unfair. But then again, I think that's the whole point to piss people off. Wait, think? I know. That's the whole point to piss people off. And we're done the level. While well, I talked about rage games like Cybot Action, also known as Cat Mario. Because that's what those cats for the Fire Chomp replacements actually look like. Oh, that just leads the P block time short. Which we did, so we got all the World 4 taken care of. Now I gotta get the secret exit of Twinkle Freeze, because it looks like it actually leads to... Twinkle Ice Caves. I thought I was gonna say Twinkle Freeze 3. So I'll start by checking the warp pipes, but may not be down one of those. Or I could check this one. Oh, it's just that bonus room with the pool and the football players. I wouldn't jump in a pool with football players. <laughs> okay, that sounds kind of offensive to football players. Uh, I, I, I didn't mean for it to come out that way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't tackle me. Don't tackle me like Zidane. <laughs> I don't want to be headbutted or anything! <laughs> okay, there's a pipe up there! That looks more like it could be the secret exit, actually. But how do I get up there? Oh, really? How? If that is what I think it is, then how do I reach it? Okay, the 
pipes aren't taking me anywhere. How do I get up there? I don't have a cave so I can't just fly there. I mean, that would be actually really cheap to do. I mean, I totally see that pipe and some clouds and coins. Are you kidding me? I gotta get up there. Maybe I have to find, take a pipe on the ground to get up there. Or maybe that's just for those extra coins. Maybe it has nothing to do with the secret exit at all. Alright, there's another pipe here that I can't okay, try and jump onto it. Okay, maybe I need a real running boost. I need to find a spot where I can get a good one. Doesn't seem to be any. I mean, there's bumpies everywhere, so... Can't get a running boost down here. If I had a cave, this would be much easier to reach. But no. I don't have one. I can always just use down here. I'll be able to make this happen. I don't think so. Uh, no. Can't get the boost from down there. I mean, if this guy... I can't even kill it with fire. The fireballs pass right through it. I can't actually launch myself up there, because that won't work. I don't know how to get up anywhere. There's two pipes that look like they could be for something, but I can't reach either of them. I'm not finding any caves to help me get up there. It's just flowers. Shoot fire. I don't need to shoot fire at this point. I need to find that secret exit. Okay, I got a shell jump, but I guess not now. Okay, I guess the shell jump dream is not dead. back and try and shell jump. This guy's in the way, in the spectacular way. Alright, what side should I... I'll approach it from here. And let's go. Not even. Almost there. Throw the shell the wrong way, but we can still get it. Good. Nothing! <laughs> I'll go further back. See if I can shell jump up to that other pipe. But I don't think so. Alright, this looks like it's way out of reach. Oh my god. Why did I think I could actually pull this off? Especially if the shell just goes wherever the hell it feels like it. Just so I don't kill it by accident with the fire. And shell's gone. It is just gone. Where's the other one? Oh, all the way here. Just to get another chance to try this again. I think I could pull it off. If I have everything lined up perfectly, that is. Wait, I'm just gonna check for an invisible block first. Oh my god, I should've done this a while ago. I should have done this a while ago. That's it. Eight coins? All this for nothing. See, all of this for nothing. Now I'm gonna run the timer out. Wow, I really ran that much time out just trying to find the secret exit. And I really went at it. Hopefully it's in the second half somewhere. Because if it's not, then I don't know. Right, left. I'll go left! And then I'll find... The exit! 
I wish it was- I wish I'd have known that it was that easy! But no! I go out of the way to try and find it! And then we're gonna have to find the exit here. Because it blatantly looks like there is one. I'll be back tomorrow with more Mega Man 29th Anniversary. I'll be back tomorrow with part 15.